always make sure to clean your table after roasting gunpowder on it. <laughs> I hope our landlord doesn't see this video. <laughs> What's up guys, Ryan here from Always Prepped and today I want to bring you guys some bloopers from when I was painting my rifle. Now my rifle painting video is actually over on my gaming channel and I'll have a link to that in the description of this video. It's there because the paint job I did on it was related to the video game and really has nothing to do with survival whatsoever because, uh, well, it kind of stands out a bit. But I did have a lot of fun bloopers and I thought I would put those here on this channel because this is more my honest, candid vlogging channel. All right, guys, so here we go. So here's uh, all the bloopers that we cut out from the rifle painting. And there's everything here from um, dogs attacking my wet paint rifle to uh, us setting our coffee table on fire and etc. All right, guys, enjoy. Hold up. Missed a spot on the buttstock. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. I didn't realize they were still here, bro. I'm sorry. Uh, I just don't want them to. Get, I don't want them to lick the paint. Oh, oh, I was scared about the gun, not the. Not no, the, the gun's fine. The gun's unloaded. Yeah, completely. Up. The gun's completely unloaded. I don't want them to lick the paint. All right. Because Bella, you know how she likes to eat really horrible shit. All right. So let's go ahead. Let's carefully flip her over. You know. It's funny. It looks more menacing now. <laughs> Oh no, the evil black. Yeah, gun. no, it's the evil black <laughs> rifle now. It's the media. It's it's the media's fault. It's now the evil black rifle. Well, yeah, we try to find something to hang it from, but the problem is all we have here. We have some trees. You can probably see them in the background. We have. We, in fact, oh, check, wait, are we still recording? Yeah. Okay. In fact, actually, guys, we have an entire forest behind me, and the original idea was to hang it from a tree and paint it. But here's the problem. That's a school. Um, and I didn't want to pick my rifle on what is technically school grounds. Obviously. I mean, come on. I mean, like, I'm sensible. Uh, we have trees here in our backyard, but I didn't want to accidentally get paint on the trees and cause an issue with the homeowners association. <laughs> so you can see our bind. That's why we're using the milk crate. All right, guys, I'll catch you. I'll catch up with you guys once this uh, once this dries. Surely we got something better than this. Oh, did I actually go? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow, look at that. Whoa. Are you kidding? What the fuck happened to the blade? <laughs> Outtake. <laughs> outtake. No, I, I got it. There, there, I got it. That's an outtake. Or you could keep it in. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I can't believe that. <coughs> of course I knew I was going to use the X-Acto knife. Why won't this... What the fuck? How long has it been since I used an X-Acto knife? There we go. Let's get nice and tight. All right, let's redo that. Let's redo that one, shall we? I'm so glad you had an exacto knife. Otherwise, I would be doing it with that big one. Oh my god! Did you like the axe montage? By the way, I just kind of thought it on the fly. <laughs> I was like, There's all these hatchets here. That that was actually candid, by the way, guys. That 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 uh, hatchet footage was was actually candid. Those were actually just sitting here, and um, I didn't intend to grab them, but they were actually just here. Are you recording? Yes. <laughs> of course, of course you are. I am. Where's my Have gloves? you met me? <laughs> Here's my gloves. No, that's good. No, you know what to do. You know I like to... Because uh, you never know when there'll be a good blooper. I like to wear gloves whenever I use tools. Wow, Rhonda is really set. I'm trying not to disturb her. She is really set on her little spot right there. I can't believe she hasn't moved. <laughs> she has not. What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm 
Here's my other pocket. There it is. I can't believe she still hasn't moved. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. One thing we realized, guys, you saw all those small little tiny teeth I cut out. Here's what we realized. We need to weight those down. Otherwise, they're gonna blow away from the spray of the paint. So um, we need to weight them down. And we thought, what better to weight them down with than bullets? So we have some 556 five, here, which should be good enough to weight down those teeth. And we're gonna have a nine mil to weight down that, that one eye. So we're gonna take these bolts apart and do this. I know this seems like a lot of work. You're like, isn't there an easier way to do that? And uh, um, not really, what else would we use to weight down the, the things? You would say, you could say you could tape them down, but if we tape, is this in camera? No. You could say that we could tape them down, but then we have tape marks. We just want a nice weight to weight down these uh, these little tiny pieces of paper. Now, I'm not doing this correct, uh, exactly scientifically, but it doesn't matter how the bullets look when they come out, we just need to get them out. So we're just gonna twist these little guys. These are five, five, six rounds, by the way. We're just gonna twist these out. There we go. And, ooh, look at all the powder fall out. All right, guys, so we're just gonna get a couple more of these. We got one. We got two already. We're just going to um, we're just going to get these guys out and do this. Fuck. That's pretty tight. Yeah, I'm going to loosen that. I can't even loosen it. You can stop. Well, you can if you want to. Mm. I just want to record one. Son of a Yes, I'm actually doing this. <laughs> you got to use your pliers for your pliers. I got to use the pliers for the pliers. <laughs> I'm glad I'm still recording. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, though. That was a good blooper. Outtakes. Yeah, that was a good one. What did I tell you about leaving your brass around the living room? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what spent brass at that. God damn it. <laughs> stop leaving your spent brass around the living room, son. <laughs> God damn it, Bobby. Stop leaving your brass around Lady Dog. <laughs> Lady Bird. God damn it. Lady Bird. I'll do that again. Yeah. Wait, I'll do it again. God damn it, Bobby. Stop leaving your brass around. <laughs> Stop leaving your brass around the floor around Lady Bird. What did I tell you? My friend used to do the greatest Hank Hill impression. And he, he'd he say the most fucked up things. He'd be like, God damn it, Bobby. How many times did I tell you? Don't stick your dick in Lady Bird. And... <laughs> He did it so perfect. It was fucked up. I can't do the head kill voice. All right, guys, we got one more bullet shell left. Actually, we have two more. We're going to do a 9 mil as well. Do you want a 9, a 40, a 22, a 45, 30 out 6? I've got it all that yeah, near me. I mean, the smallest. Just the weight on the eye, a 9 mil. I'm only using, uh, the reason we're using 5.56 for the teeth is because A is badass, and B, they are um, they're small enough that. It's the smallest caliber we have. It's the smallest and heaviest caliber we have. That's why. Yeah. We thought about 22s, and we're like, wait, why use a 22 when we can use a 5.56? Same size, only this one is bigger and heavier. These are 55 grain. Yeah, these are 55 grain. My 22s I have are 40 grain. So we're just going to twist this guy out. eventually doesn't matter if we mangle it it's just for a lead weight literally whoa shit Ooh, I spewed everywhere wow that sounded really <laughs> bad all right so we got that let's see if we can get this one apart this time there we go god damn it stop leaving your brush around the floor all right so we got some 556 five, shells for sale, uh, $9.99 each. Each comes with a uh, personally inscribed Dark Dally signature. Just kidding. Actually, no, I'm not. Actually, if you guys want to pay $9.99, I will totally ship you one of these plus shipping. Holy shit, I will totally sign this for you. If you guys want, I will totally sign one of these with a, uh, I'll get a nice little inscribing tool, I'll sign it and I'll ship it to you. $9.99 plus shipping. 
Okay. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on down the line. Wait, hold on. Let's spray paint the uh, casings uh, this teal color. Limited one off from your rifle. Nine ninety nine plus shipping. One um, empty five five fit six uh, shell casing spray painted custom black and teal signed by Dark Dally plus shipping. Nine ninety nine plus shipping. Yes, just for you. There's only three available, guys. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the nine mil. Man, we got gunpowder all over the place. You could tell we're bachelors because we're like, dude, there's gunpowder all over the place. And eh, who cares? We're going to deal with the gunpowder here in a second. Um, let's get this about 9 mil size. There we go. That should be good. What's the worst that could happen? We squeeze it too hard and it explodes, right? Oh, that's not hard enough. That's what she said. Let's try it there. God damn it. There's gunpowder everywhere. And you guys know we're going to light this gunpowder off, right? You guys realize that, right? That's why I'm trying not to get it on my hands. <laughs> Ooh, that's a little... Don't squeeze the primer. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't shoot off anyway. It would just go pop and just expand. That's too, that's too loose. Hang on. I'm trying to get 9 mil size. You see that video where uh, Matt from Demolition Ranch, he put a Glock set, like, I, I forget what it was. He put some pistol, it was like a Glock 17 or something. He put it in a microwave and, and nuked the pistol just to see what would happen. Obviously, the rounds don't actually shoot off. They just kind of pop like popcorn. In fact, I've done it myself in my younger, more reckless days. All right, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get this round out. This is a little more tapered, a little more, something a little more difficult. Why are we going to all this work? Because, guys, we're, we're painting a gun. So what? In case you forgot, the reason we're doing this is because we want lead to weight down the pieces of paper as uh, for the mask so they don't blow away. And you'll see when I get there. We almost got it out. It's almost out, guys. Let's see how much powder is in a 9mm. Hey, Dark Daly, what's the difference between that couch and me? I don't know what that couch will pull out. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Nothing like a good laugh when you're trying to pull a bullet out of a freaking casing. All right, there we go. So we got our weights. I know that, that seems trivial, but I think that's going to come in handy. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to scoop up this gunpowder because it's really kind of in my way right now. All right, give me one sec. Uh, got a razor blade? Or actually anything, credit card, anything stiff. Also featuring one nine millimeter casing. There's only one of these, so this is $19.99 <laughs> plus shipping. Custom and grade by Dark Dally, painted black and teal. Order now, there is only one. Oh shit. All right. <laughs> there was only one. No, there was only one. Let's move all this shit out of the way, and we'll get this, oh. <laughs> so, uh, so we got our bullets. The problem is our table is still covered in gunpowder. What do you guys think? we can do about all this gunpowder. Wow, this knife is really not working. Let's get a, uh, let's get some paper here. That knife, I keep trying to use that knife, but it's just not working. So let's use this paper. Let's just get this gunpowder scooped up so we can get rid of it, shall we? All right, guys, so here's all the, uh, we, we, we did clean up most of it. What do you guys think we should do with this? Guys, hit the like button below. Hit the like button below this uh, video right now if you want me to light this on fire with a blowtorch. What do you think? Rob, should I torch? Why not? Don't catch the house on fire. All right, here we go. That 
was really disappointing. <laughs> I am disappointed. Rob, g give us the rest of the gunpowder. Please, sir. I mean... <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Is this in frame? Yes. Alright, guys. Okay, fuck that. That wasn't enough. There we go. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Let's paint this rifle. <laughs> Wait, we're not done yet. There's more. There's more. <laughs> There's still more gunpowder on the table. Always make sure to clean your table after roasting gunpowder on it. <laughs> I hope our landlord doesn't see this video. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching uh this is ryan from always prepped definitely stay tuned because i believe the next video on this channel I, actually i think the next video on this channel is me shooting a dp12 just for fun but then the next video after that which i already have recorded is where i took my freshly painted ar out and ran three magazines through it just to see how it would work. And then after that, following that, we'll have a video up on me with my 22 caliber AR. We have a lot of new stuff coming up, guys. So thank you so much for watching this little blooper reel here. It was fun. We had a lot of fun. Definitely stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already and click that like button on the video, guys. It really helps out. This channel is still really small and we're trying to grow it uh, to work along with my other one. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm Dark. Uh, well, I almost said I'm Dark Tally. <laughs> my name is Ryan from Always Prepped. I will catch you guys next time.